Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. In this episode, we have a lot to do. We have got some insane plans, and it is going to start with some insane stuff. Why am I wearing a pirate's hat and an eye patch? Why is my hotbar different? Where did my chest plate go? What is in this chest beneath me? Well, some of those questions are going to be answered as I roll a clip of the two treasure rooms I found off camera. So, while you guys watch those, I'm going to get some really cool setup. Ayo! First of many. He's going to kill this dog. There we go. And this is the first of many treasure rooms. Oh, I never made... I never made another uh, shovel. All right. Well, that will be okay. But this is exciting. Our first of an updated treasure room. Let's get our Luton Tootin set on. I'm just going to block that off just in case. All right. We've got a lot going on for us, so wish us some luck. I'm going to hold this in my hand just in case it helps. Common. Not too bad. Not too bad. Look at that. Rare plus sword. Uh, another pick rang Benny's. Mod boxes. Ooh, Eyes of Avarice. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see. What jewels are we doing? Flawed. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Flawless. Nice. Okay. Awesome. We'll take a look at these back at the base. All right. Now we got to hope for good luck here. Oh my gosh, we got one. Oh, that was it right there. A legendary bounty. Oh yes. That is huge. That is huger than huge. Legendary bounties. Yeah, they're insane. Okay. You guys are going to want to see this. All right. Legendary bounty. Oh, that's a cute sound. What do we get? Item submission. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. We're so lucky. For the whole cost of 60 Vault Essence, we get an Epic Plus chest piece, an Armor Faceted Focus, a Defensive Faceted Focus, 9 Vault Gold, a Fundamental Focus, an Unidentified Vault Axe, and 23,000 XP. All I have to do is right-click this table with 60 Vault Essence. Check it. Yep. <laughs> that is what I call a Legendary Bounty. Might as well roll our new epic chest plate. Oh, finally, something to replace the old epic chest plate. Please have a good base armor roll. And furnace chest plate's cool too. Hey, that's actually a really good axe right there. Tier 4 damage? Honestly, I'm gonna tinker with that. Nice. Okay, it's only tier 3 armor, but it's a max tier 3 armor. And what does the furnace chest plate look like? Very cool. Oh, yeah, that is going to add to our power armor setup. Absolutely. Okay, so we finally have some armor to tinker with, which we have been sorely, sorely needing. Hey, two cleave range, 14% holy, and 1600 durability. Honestly, for a 38 damage thing, the attack speed's all right. Bam. Wham. You know what? I'm going to try this out. Oh. Huh. Huh. That's kind of better. Huh. Huh. Is it worth it to go solo damage? Not gonna lie, this thing does... 60, 70 points? What's my DPS? 118 DPS with this guy? I really wish it had chaining, though. Alright, well, for now, I should probably tinker with this guy. There it is! There it is! Ah! <sighs> That feels better. New chest plate. Replacing our dinky 12 armor with increased damage. I mean, we I guess we lose some damage. But, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Very good. Oh, hello, Zenium door. Don't mind if I do. Yes, this is our second treasure room. And I've still forgotten to grab a shovel as well. So, don't worry. Still the good old D-Jojo. Rare. Oh! <gasps> Yes! Yes! We have an Omega Helmet in here! Oh my gosh, and a full Knowledge Star! Ooh, double pouch? Very nice. I think it's pretty obvious that we need to roll these guys now. I'm gonna roll the uh, non-Omegas first, and then we will roll our very first piece of Omega Armor. Oh! Wow, that's an- oh my gosh, our- Idle rolled epic, didn't it? Huh. That's really good. I mean, the 4% Thanos affinity is not that good, but poison immunity, cooldown reduction, weakness cloud, and a suffix. 
What other stuff can we get on this guy? 12% mana. Mm, I might drop speed for this guy. Poison immunity would be huge. All right, trinket time. Oh, I hope we get something really cool. I'm excited. We don't get trinkets a whole lot. The frog. What does the frog do? <gasps> it gives you step. Can I put that on now? <gasps> Yay. Look at that. Oh, I have missed this from 116. It was a Batania item that did that. Oh, I have missed this so bad. Okay, all right. That's huge. How, how expensive is it to craft said frog? Just so we know. Let's see. Froggy, froggy. A lot of all alloy, diamonds, and right? But uh, it's not horrible. All right. Omega helmet. Oh my gosh. And what model are you going to get? An Omega model? The pirate tricorn. We could be pirates? I'm so nervous. Tier 3 armor. Okay, okay, okay. All right. We'll have to... We'll, we'll want to fundamental that. Come on! Yes! There we go. 11 armor. It'll still be less than this one, which is 14 armor. I could try to go for the tier 4 max roll to get 14 armor back, but... No, I, I think this is quite good. The trap disarm and only plus 1 armor is a little unfortunate, but I'm nervous about nullifying anything, because if I were to nullify the mana region, mana, or health... That'd be really a big bummer. So I think we're going to stick with this as it is. How does, how does this look? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, I kind of like it with the power armor. Those new treasure rooms are no freaking joke. But stick around because the update 7 madness is going to continue because we are going to start off with creating the ultimate ore mining tool. And that is going to start with a melded hammer, or a hammer of any kind. Ooh, that is expensive. But we have 9 mining speed, dirt, or 4,000 durability, and of course, 1 hammer size. Hammer size meaning that uh, we mine in a 3x3. Three three. You can hold shift while holding a hammer and see what you're going to mine. But right now, this is a pretty dinky, rinky hammer. It can't even actually like break anything. Look how slow it is. I guess it breaks the dirt kind of fast, but... Still, it wouldn't even drop nothing. This is useless. This is useless. But this chest contains the answers for the entire episode. Ta-da! Look at all this good stuff I've gotten from all those vaults. These are non-treasure room stuff. They're just things I found. This is some of the vault gear that I didn't end up rolling. I rolled a ton of vault gear. But for now, let's focus on the jewels. Copiously. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah, this guy is about to get a major ore mining upgrade. And notice we have picking and shoveling included, which means that it is going to be perfect for mine rooms and crystal caves that have mostly picking blocks and shoveling blocks. Check this out. 25 size, 23 size, 32 size, and 17 size. These are all super cheap. And there is no reason to wait. And by the way, check it out. When you put picking on a hammer, it gives us this cool, like, arced thing. And I believe if we put shoveling, it gives it a nice wide shovel. So it looks like, um, kind of looks like Sonic, actually. <laughs> or like a chow from Sonic. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We're just going to keep putting copiously for a total of 9% copiously. Uh, and it still has 153 capacity. We could modify this so much more, and it has 9% copiously already. That means that when we mine an ore with this, there is a 9% chance for each ore that we mine that it will duplicate the ore, because we're going to put Soak Touch on this guy, right? There we go. Now it's all Soak Touch Efficiency 5 and Breaking 3, so it will duplicate ores 10% of the time. That is incredible! Next up is upgrading this guy, who only has 51 capacity left, but there's a little bit that I think we can eke out. Check this out. Gilded and 4 mining speed for 35. Uh-huh. All right. Ta-da. Yeah, with only 16 capacity left, unfortunately 17 capacity is just a little bit too much. But this guy is fast now. What is that? 18.8 mining speed? Do not mind if I do. Super excited. So there's pickaxes completed. I think next up we should do our loot boxes, because look how much we got. 
vault completions, 24 mod boxes, 33 mystery boxes, an unidentified relic, and 22 relic booster packs. Come on, that is awesome. Remember on this channel, we always start with the relic booster packs. Oh, nice. Whoa, uh, oh, four, I was about to say, three but two dupes. All right, let's see. Any new guys? No, no, yes. Ooh, four relics in three relic sets. Will this one complete? Uh, no, unfortunate. Ah, uh, it, it, it even gave one that we're almost done on. Ah, we are level 51 and still haven't completed a relic. This is embarrassing. <laughs> our luck has been horrible, but maybe our luck turns with the mystery boxes. Wow, that is a ton of diamonds. Oh, I see an echo gem, but that is mostly diamonds and emeralds, isn't it? Huh, wow, that is a lot of diamonds, actually. You know what? I'm actually not going to complain about 50 diamonds. It's unfortunate how many emeralds we got instead of other stuff. Wow, that literally only Laramar and echo gems are the only modded stuff, but one echo gem. All right, mod box moment. Bam, nope, bam. Ooh, what are you, my good sir? Another 1.6 million FE to the bank. Very nice. Uh, link cables, a uh, use. Oh, wait, I should wait. I should wait. I should wait. I should wait for mod boxes. Okay, these are wasted mod boxes. Well, I suppose they weren't wasted mod boxes, but I really should wait. I love how fast these guys fill up. Oh, does this guy not transfer? Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, I'm gonna go output on top and it'll... Yeah, another 1 million. Very nice. All right, boss crate moment. Ooh. That's a rare jewel. Oh, two chipped jewels, which appear to be the rare variants. Very nice. Hey, leave me alone. What do you have? Banana peel? All right. I'm interested. I'm interested in a banana peel. What? What is a banana peel? I can only get two of them. That, did they do anything? What? You sold me garbage! You know what? Get cleaved! Ha ha ha! Alright, let's check out these jewels. 64 for coin affinity, garbage. 81 for mining speed, garbage. And 65 for gilded affinity, garbage. All right, mod boxes, you gotta wait. First, we've got plenty of all gear to roll. Perhaps we'll get more Omega gear. I'd love a rare magnet. Whoa, a rare, uh, that's an epic ax. Is that a rare magnet? Oh my gosh. Ah, it's everything I wanted and more. All right, see, rare ax. Uh, 38 base damage, not bad, but this guy's got 45. This guy also has 38. They're both the same damage, interesting. I'll keep you around. No, I like the f I I do like the four chaining on that, but it's tier three damage. Blech. Oh, nice. If I could get if I could get chaining on this, instantly better than this guy. If I could get chaining on this, okay, you're gonna go up here. Uh, and another forty attack damage, not bad. Um, honestly, not a bad helmet. And rare magnet. Ooh, 10 range, 11 velocity, and some soul shard chance. That does beat this magnet, doesn't it? Um, yeah, by a lot. I mean, it's got one less velocity, but double the range almost, and soul chance. Get out of here. Now, this sword, can we get a high level of chaining on it? That's what I really want. All right, I concede. I concede. Single target. This thing does a bejesus amount of damage. Yeah, that's that's 132 DPS. Yeah. Does 63 damage in a single hit. Alright. And it's fast. Alright. You got me. You got me. Single target damage it is. I wish I had chaining. Ooh, beggars can't be choosers. Here, buddy, you got a really cool new weapon now. Get my old mega axe. Yes. Well, I could roll this guy. Hold on. What, what was I doing rolling that guy? I could roll this guy now. I mean, maybe this guy gets chaining, right? Yes, yes, there it is, there it is. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, hold your hats, hold your horses, finally. Oh yeah, I can work with that. Okay, there we go. So you're gonna be my main weapon, right? Because you are actually pretty fast. I... Yeah, honestly, that is not too bad for three training. And then this guy can be my single target. So 
Look at this hot bar. Okay, uh, hopefully I don't forget to enchant these. Next up are these six knowledge stars. Yes, I have acquired six knowledge stars, both through soul trading and completion crates and bounty chest, no, not bounty chests, treasure chests, and just generally running vaults. And what am I going to be using six unspent knowledge points on? Oh, finally, 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 we are upgrading to refined storage. Because this has arcade? What? I didn't know there was a transmog. I should really check those. Um, this, this is getting bad. If I search through hashtag, oh my gosh, my frames disappear. That, it's ridiculous, okay? We are lagging out my game by using Simple Storage Network. This guy's doing too much. It is powering these guys. It is powering multiple crazy farms up there. It needs to stop. So refined storage is the answer. We're not going to be doing any refined storage stuff today, but we need to start preparing for it. And part of that is unlocking it and then rolling our mod boxes so that perhaps we could get, I don't know, some really crazy cool stuff from refined storage. So let us resume our mod box rolling. Oh, hey, this is refined storage stuff. Quartz enriched iron. One kind of sucks, but it's, it's cool. Ooh, a botany pot. These are expensive now. Please be hopping. Ah, uh, those are more expensive now, so that's nice. Uranite, a pouch, a waystone, Nixie tubes. Hello. Ah, another drawer from Mechanism. Cool, cool, cool. Another botany pot, more Nixie tubes. Nice. Oh, is that a energy cell? Nice. More storage for energy. More quartz enriched iron. <gasps> is that a stack upgrade from refined storage? Oh my gosh, that is just stamped us a pog as well as all the resources required to make the yeah, yeah. Okay, that's actually pretty big. That's actually pretty big. And more Nixie tubes, huh? Hmm, I think I have an idea of what to do with these Nixie tubes. Perfect. Well, all in all, this now empty chest brought us great success. Very nice. Let's check out some transmogs. I'm curious, arcade. What? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. <laughs> What's the arcade chest piece look like? That's Mecca. What does the mecha cheat? Ooh, mecha looks cool. Arcade. Oh, I don't know if I'll ever wear these, but they're adorable. <laughs> oh, props to the transmog artists. They just, they have such a creative talent to them. But I like my pirate cyborg. Although, I wonder if the mecha chess piece would look better for a pirate cyborg. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Much more pirate cyborg with the mecha chess piece. Sweet. Oh, also check this out. In our uh, mystery egg chest, we have Wither Skeleton, we have Slime, and I got an Elder Guardian. These guys are probably the best to have because not only do they give every single type of fish, but I believe they also give Prismarines and they give Wet Sponge. So once we have the resources to make what is called a Binding Plate, we will go for it because you don't actually use a Mob Cage for boss monsters. You need a Binding Plate, which is, yes, two blocks of black chromatic steel, as well as a binding gemstone, which happens to be an echo pog. Now we can make an echo pog. We actually have the resources to do so, but I'm gonna be saving an echo pog for actually refined storage. Oh, also I have tamed a calico cat. I don't have a calico cat, so I need cat name suggestions. Uh, bonus points if you have a calico cat. I already have a name suggestion for a cat named Lily, but Lily is a black and white cat, so Lily's got to be a black and white cat, because in my mind, that is just that is just how the world works. Um, so give me some suggestions for calico cat names. Oh, and how can I forget to transmog my weapons? Well, okay, these are the coolest looking axes. How do I get these? But for now, we'll start well with this axe, which does look very cool. And we'll also go with, um, I feel like for, I like the plate piercer, especially now that we kind of have like a piratey look to ourselves. How much do we need? 51. I, okay. Can someone explain to me why, why transmogging becomes more expensive? Because that just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't get the rationale behind gating transmog behind more and more money. I, I, I kind of don't like that. As a part of preparing for refined storage, we are going to need an echo pog. Yeah, we need an echo pog. Well, we don't need, okay. We don't need an echo pog. I want to make it clear. Echo pogs are not required, but I am not going to do refined storage without a crafting grid. Okay. 
you would not catch me dead in refined storage without a crafting grid. And the problem is these four of these echo gems, so these echo gems right here are reserved for mechanism. Yep, we have one last step in our mechanism or refining process, and it's gonna need four echo gems because, oh my gosh, it is expensive. So we need three more echo gems. We do have two echo ore. And I think it's time to fortune them up. Oh, the lag, the lag, get it out of here. Okay, I'm gonna fortune one of them because I don't know, I, I have this like weird relationship with Echo. I just like to keep the ores. Also, it's so beautiful. I love how Echo ore works. I wish I was rich in this stuff because I want to make a build out of it, but alas, we are not. Give me three. Ugh. All right, buddy, you're my last hope. Three. 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 One. No, one is not the number. Three is the number. Oh, dear. Okay, all right. Well, priority goes to mechanism, but, 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 we still have two treasure keys, which is a good chance for Echo. And I can also focus on gilded chests for mystery boxes to go for Echo, and ores to go for Echo, and... Yeah, I mean... I guess we could put our new pickaxe to the test, right? Perhaps, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. There's more to do. In fact, no, we're probably not going to be putting our pickaxe to the test in this episode, unfortunately, because we have a little bit more to do, and I ha I imagine we're running out of video time. And that little bit more to do is to make a compacting drawer. I got a comment literally today uh, about making a compacting drawer for the purposes of souls, soul dust. And I just, it is so brilliant. I hadn't even thought of this. To put your soul dust inside of a compacting drawer so you don't have to worry about crafting it. I, I was, I have to do it. Um, I mean, I also have to do it because like, it obviously, it's so genius. Uh, don't I have a drawer in here? Will it not, will it not take a frame drawer? Oh, excuse me. Okay. Well, apparently a frame drawer. What? I don't have a, oh, I'm sorry. These are oak drawers. I really actually should probably favorite spruce drawers, considering that's kind of the wood I have the most abundance of. Now, sorry, excuse me. Wow, drawers are quite particular, aren't we, today? All right, compacting drawer. Thank you. So their suggestion was to basically take... Uh, ta -da, and instead of having this system here, I use a create smart shoot since it drops so much. Let's get a smart shoot made. Oh, also, we've ran so many vaults with so many ore rooms, our Laramar supplies are through the roof. So, celebrating about that. All right, now we have a smart shoot. So, the smart shoot is going to... Let's see, the smart shoot goes here, and it goes into the compacting... No, it goes into the compacting drawer, and we'll take out all the soul dust we got, bit like that. And ba 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 ba. Is this a filtered link? No, it's a filtered import cable. Huh. Well, now I need a filtered link cable. There we are. So this filtered link cable is going to go right here. It is going to allow soul shards. We'll mark it down in priority. So all soul shards go here. And in the filter of this fella, we're going to put soul dust and put in the soul dust. And you can see because it's a compacting drawer. It will actually compact the soul dust into soul shards. So we don't have to craft soul shards anymore. I am over the moon to learn that. So now if we break down something with soul value, I'm going to break down these regret chunks since we have so many. This will turn into 1,152 soul bits. And normally it would be really, really, really annoying to deal with that. You can see, first of all, it is just instantly taking out all the soul dust. The old system, like, it would blip like you'd see it. This stuff is just instantly flowing out of it. And I imagine if I look up soul... Oh, 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 that is so cool. It is just automatically crafting them for us to pull full soul shards. No more guessing, but how many we have. I am so excited. I'm gonna, do we have any uh, chest scrolls in here? No, I've already broken those down. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Oh, what was your name? The Mattimus the Awesomus. Ooh, you've got an awesome in your name too. You gotta respect it. Us awesome brothers gotta stick together. <laughs> uh, well, really appreciate the tip. And 
please, everyone who's anyone that watches my videos, know that I am not the smartest man alive, and any tips you have are absolutely appreciated. Uh, backseat game me all the way. I, I, you know, I may or may not take the advice, but look at this 128 soul shards that I didn't have to craft. Oh, we could just pull them right out like that. Just drop them on the ground, suck them right into our bag if we want to, and, and go shopping here. We'll buy that. We'll buy, we'll buy these. Um, actually, I kind of want that, so I'm not going to buy any more. Perfect. Oh, that is, that's incredible. Hey, wait a minute. Can I use a faceted focus on this guy? Because I have a looting faceted focus that'll give me item rarity or item quantity. Nice. Okay. That's pretty cool. I actually think this magnet is still better than the one we were using. Yeah, it was. It still has a better range, and now it has an equal velocity, and we get 10% item quantity. Beautiful. Perfect. I, 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 I couldn't be more happy. Well, I could not be more excited. We have an awesome melded brick hammer to test out for supreme ore mining capabilities. New weapon, new weapon, improved pickaxe. We get a new hotbar setup. We got new armor setup. We got new idols setup. We got a new freaking soul shard setup. Ah, this episode was so productive. We still have two keys. See them down there? A, a bombing knight and an escalium key. We still have two of those to figure out. And now we have cool Nixie tubes that say D Jojo. So yeah, I think the video is going to end here. Next episode, I will complete this. I will complete this setup next episode. We will do the full sulfuric acid, the, the slurry system. It is going to be insane. We're going to be producing um, ridiculous and copious amounts of any ore that we put in. The episode after that, I got a whole roadmap. The episode after that, we're going to do some vaulting, uh, taking our hammer, specifically looking for ores, hopefully echo ores, because the episode after that, I want to make the full conversion to, or at least to prepare for the refined storage conversion, which is going to be very difficult because, you know, I, I'll show you guys right now, um, not this area, though it is hooked into it. But this whole factory up here, right, which is very dark, sorry, YouTube for impression, but this whole factory is supplied by simple storage. And, I mean, you can see the lag, too, and that is caused predominantly, I would imagine, by simple storage, which just has a lot of frame rate issues. So, we have a lot of work cut out for us, and I don't know why I jumped there, but I'm very excited. Um, but th this is, uh, this is amazing. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you for the support of the last episode. It is doing double what it normally would have, what it, my best episode. I, I cannot believe the love and support I've gotten on that last episode. So keep it up. Glad to have all of you newcomers to the channel. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed and you want to see more of this from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it so much. I can't wait to see you again. Goodbye, everybody.